welcome to the Screen Australia podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank today. you, Karis. Um, and can you tell me a bit about your role in the industry and some of the projects that you've worked on? All right. Well, my role in the industry is uh, as production designer. I also art direct. Most recently, I designed two features uh, here in Australia. One was called Buckley's Chance, which was a PG-rated movie about a boy and a dingo. We shot that at Brogan Hill. And I also designed a film called 2067, which we shot in Adelaide and the northern parts of New South Wales. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about was uh, you have a YouTube channel um, that you have over the years uploaded these time-lapse videos of um, set builds. What kind of prompted you to um, start this channel and upload these videos to it? I started a bit of a time-lapse bug in the 90s. Mm -hmm. There was a TV series called Roar Mm -hmm. and as it was being built, I would stand in the same space every few days to take a photo as the process um, unfolded and a way I, I love work in progress photos and it just shows how clever the people who are making these sets are and you start with nothing and then you've got a set several weeks later and one of the best ways of seeing that progression is to to have it locked off so that you're not you can see where the changes happen. So I did that on the TV series Raw mm-hmm. and this is in the days of, you know, film camera where you <laughs> roll it onto the spool, onto the spindle and I think it's a, a good succinct way of saying this is what we do. We're building it on a location or in a studio and that's why we leave for home at, you know, yeah. five in the morning and come back covered in MDF and <laughs> shavings and <laughs> dirt <laughs> and 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 it's all all there. I think a video of a time lapse is a good way to share that information. So if we'll just talk about some of the videos then that you have uploaded these mm-hmm. time lapse videos, there are a number of them are from Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, can you give us a bit of background first about this? project were there a lot of things that were built like on location or on, like in a studio can you talk through the sets a little bit for this one so the shang chi village set was built out on location near prospect reservoir in mm-hmm. sydney and it had a large temple and its pavilion with a bell in it a running stream a lake and uh, a th- 13 huts around it. It was a, you know, a 360 degree set. We had to be ready for the camera to shoot just about anywhere within it. The other sets, which we shot at the then Fox Studios, included Wen Wu's compound in stage one, the forest with the running waterfall, the Golden Daggers nightclub, Mm-hmm. So a good variety of location and interior soundstage builds. Can you talk a little bit about, yeah, the inclusion of that concept art at the beginning of each of these time-lapse videos? Concept illustrations uh, tell you the, the atmosphere and the, the mood and the tone and the colours of, of that set. And it's quite often a keyframe or an establishing shot. So by including them in the time-lapse video, it shows the audience what the goal is. And then when you watch the time-lapse, you see how close to the mark uh, it it is reached. And uh, the other clip that I just wanted to talk through was the Alien Covenant Mm -hmm. um, clip. Can you talk a little bit about um, working on that project Uh, and, yeah, uploading that clip? I think it's like seven sets in seven minutes or something. The sets were out of the ordinary. You don't see them every day. They were spaceship interiors on the planet where David lives. You know, we had his lab, you know, creepy, (laughs) creepy place where he 
carries out all his experiments, the Hall of Heads, and that was oh, cleverly worked out by Sean Ahern and Garth Tompkins. They put MDF beading on the floor, put the concrete in and then remove the beading to create these grooves and then goes the scenic work. So, again, a, a methodology of it is fascinating to watch how they achieve a look. Well, um, we will leave it there, but thank you so much for joining us on the podcast today and talking to us all about your career and the art department. Thank you so much for the invitation, Karis. I've really enjoyed chatting. Thank you.